Hello everyone. In this class, we'll going to discuss about the stock analysis in SAP. Basically, we'll going to use this stock analysis uh, mainly for SAP MM. And what is this stock analysis? Actually, we uh, we already know that. I I I think okay. We'll going to discuss further how we'll going to see the how many stocks were uh, there in the. Uh, company or warehouse okay we can uh, have the physical inventory for that okay what is physical inventory and inventory management i'll be taking it in the further classes so before that we'll be just considering how one can able to analyze the stock and what is the meaning of stock analysis let us consider you have bought some material. i'll just take some example here so uh, let us consider abc is one material and i have ordered around 100 materials from some particular vendor okay so the vendor is coming and uh, he is giving those 100 materials to us so our company is having 100 materials right now okay our company is having 100 materials right now so what i will do how, uh, when uh, i am having this much amount of materials i will just issue certain materials to the cost center okay let us consider i am issuing around 10 materials to the cost center means total amount of stock which are remaining with me is 90 now okay so the stock remaining with me is 90 with the company we need to identify all these things okay uh, but whenever we will going to do the goods receipt and goods issue okay all these things sap has to store somewhere else right so there uh, that is where we will going to see how many stocks are remaining okay or else how many stocks are available with us so that we can proceed further in companies what will going to happen uh, industries they will going to think of the next year pr uh, preparations okay like uh, let us consider you already know about the mrp and cbp okay cbp is nothing but the uh, consumption based planning and mrp is nothing but the material requirement planning means if they are doing certain activity i'll just uh, discuss about the mrp at the initial stage let us consider uh, mrp that is material requirement planning and the company is planning okay i need to manufacture or produce these many materials if they are considering like that they required certain raw material for the creation of the finished goods so how many raw materials they have required okay to know about that they have the entire data let us consider you are preparing the pen so for preparing the pen what are the different things we need one is the body plus uh, what is that uh, uh, will going to uh, close the no closer or else to open will going to call okay plus we re required the refill and uh, yeah that's it okay so body is there and closer at the top uh, closer will come and the refill will come so these three things will be using it right in this particular case what will going to happen Uh, they'll going to check okay how many means if you want to prepare thousand pens what we need we need thousand body thousand closers and thousand refill okay this is to open and uh, this is a refill thousand refills we required let us consider they found that uh, uh, body is a little less okay at that point of time they want to go for the what is that uh, goods receipt for this only for this particular material okay means they want to purchase these materials from particular vendor then they'll going to proceed for the production before production they have to carry out all these activity so analysis means how many stocks are available in our hand okay that is uh, uh, coming under the mrp cbp means you already know consumption based planning okay for these many materials if we use these many products or the raw materials means to manufacture uh, some number of materials how much we required okay so that is how uh, we'll going to calculate the cbp here okay consumption based planning for that also the calculation will be same and they'll going to stake whatever the products are required and they'll going to proceed further means they are doing the stock analysis here okay they are uh, they want to know how many stocks are in hand and so that we will going to go for the production of the particular things or else uh, we can also uh, at uh, some particular point of time if uh, uh, you want to know how much worth of goods okay like how much worth of goods is lying in the 
uh, company premises if you want to know this then also we can do the stock analysis means how much worth of good okay the, it will going to provide us the uh, the quantity okay it means it is in the units okay might be a number or kg something okay it will going to give the units as well as it will going to give how much it is worth okay so because we have maintained everything in the po it will going to take the price from there and it will going to calculate uh, and it will going to provide the data okay but where we'll going to check all these things what is the uh, means decode for checking the stock analysis okay we'll go through two t codes okay these two t codes will be helpful for us for checking the stock analysis one is mc.5 and one and there is mc.9 okay first i'll just take you through the mc.5 i'll quickly jump into the sap screen here i'll just click on mc.5 just click enter and here we have the different option just check here a plant is there under this plant okay whatever the materials are lying okay it will going to fetch all the information and you you don't want all the storage location which are coming under this plant so that i just want to have particular storage location means you can just put that storage location here and you can proceed further as of now okay in lt01 we have only um what is that only one storage location uh, means whatever the stocks we have taken we have just kept it in lt01 only so we'll just go with this uh, plant okay it is not required and if you want to go for a particular material we can go or else just go uh, through the plant and we can uh, drill down to the material we can drill down to the different storage locations we can drill drill down to the valuation classes means all these things are possible okay in the uh, what is that sap so here some select variants are there as of now we don't have any variants here and if you want to go for uh, the stocks which are means uh, the stock analysis for particular period means you can provide the uh, date over here okay here it is asking only the month and the year that's it so you just need to provide this date and we can proceed here also valuation based upon whether it is a standard standard without distribution and uh, material ledger active current prices so everything it is asking so you can take whatever the things you want over here but mainly we'll going to check the standard and just i have given the plant data here and i'll going to execute it see under our plant this is the uh, one column is there that is the valuation stock value okay valuated stock value and valuated stock okay two things are there Va valuated stock means it is giving the quantity for us and valuated stock value means for these many quantities what is the value okay this is coming under the inr and this is the numbers okay 710 quantities are there for this 710 quantities we are uh, going to have 15200 rupees like that it is telling we can have the uh, different analysis here just see i'll just click on the uh, just select this line okay you can see different numbers now okay means they are the different materials okay see five followed by some zeros too this is having around 11700 price how much stock is available 360 quantity is available and five followed by some zeros three around 350 numbers pieces are available and it is costing around 3500 rupees okay means 10 rupees we might have provided for this with this one we might have provided some extra money okay like that we have given we can just switch drill down is there no here we have taken it through the business area no no i don't want to go with the business area if you want to go for like you have only one uh, storage location as of now but if you have a different storage locations what you can do is you can just select this and you can proceed further as of now we have only one no so it is not uh, shown here and you can uh, go with the material you can go with the material group you can go with the material type valuation class everything it is possible okay so what i will do i have just copied it from thousand company right so we'll going to provide the thousand here and in the thousand there are so many different storage locations are available and a number of materials are available okay for that we can check 
I'll just execute this data. You can see that these many, okay, this is the total value, okay, total worth of the products and this is the total quantity of the products you can see here and I'll just click on the drill down and I'll just click on the materials here, okay, based upon the material I want to know the data. It will going to give based upon the material, see, this is, these are the different materials which are available in the thousand uh, plant. Okay, so 1289, uh, 1301, 1308, these are the different materials. You can just check this, okay, uh, 1289 is there, no? It is 855, okay, we can just check this 1289, okay. What I will do, slash n, mmb will going to take, okay, I will just take the plant as 1000, I will just remove this storage location, uh, 1289, okay, just execute this data. Here you can see 855 is there, okay, and you can see the same amount over here. What in MMB you can able to see only for a particular stock, but in MC.0, sorry, uh, MC.5, you can able to check the entire materials, whatever the materials are laying, un uh, lying under the plant, we can check the data for them. And I'll go into switch drill down and I'll say, uh, I'll just go with the storage location means into one particular store location, how much worth of products are lying like that. I want to check means just go here are the storage location. These are the different storage locations. What are available under the thousand plant. Okay. Storage location. You jo don't consider this first three digits. It is triple zero one, triple zero two like that. They are having the storage locations. In the triple zero one storage location, we are having the like we, we can just check. Okay, one thing we can check here we will take triple zero four. Okay, in triple zero four, 20 pieces are available. We can check that. I'll just go back here, remove this material. I'll just put triple zero four. This is one uh, storage location in a uh, uh, thousand plant. I'll just execute uh, generic search are not allowed. Oh, why it is not allowed? I don't know. I will take triple zero six. We'll just try it out now. The material does not exist, is not activated. Okay, so it is saying here there is no materials, but here we can see around three thousand some pieces are available. That is fine. Okay, just leave it. This is upon the uh, what is that uh, based upon the storage location, it will going to give the data. And if you drill down and you can say. A valuation class you know uh, 3000 is for the raw materials and 3200 is for the uh, what is that um, uh, service PO and uh, if you are using 7920 for finished goods 7900 is for family finished like that we have the different valuation classes okay based upon that also you can see 3000 you are having this much worth of products and these are the different number of quantities which is available and 7900 semi finished goods how many are there and finished goods how many are there all these things okay you can just get it within a fraction of seconds okay like you can just uh, take it through the mrp types or mrp controller material group okay material types material types how many material types have uh, available no all these things will going to come see here hlb this is a semi finished and uh, FERT, this is the finished good. Okay, Hava means tradable goods. However, they have defined it is based upon their uh, things. And like that, we will going to get the different types of products here. Okay, the same thing will be provided in the MC.9. Okay, same thing will be available. Okay, under this plant. And if you want to take the, uh, okay, I have taken the month, uh, the different month here. What I will do? 17, 2000, I will going to select from 2000 to 2022. How many materials are there? I want to check now. You can just proceed further. Okay, the data will be really huge. So it will going to take certain time because I have taken a, a large period over here. So it it is taking us uh, some time uh, for calculating the entire thing. Once it is taken, then we can able to proceed uh, to see the different thing. I would have changed this one or else I'll just stop this transaction. I'll make it 2000 and here I'll make it 2005. We'll just take five years data and I'll execute this. This five years means again, it will going to take a little extra time. We'll just wait. See, this is the data which is given material wise. Okay, if you don't want at the material wise and you want to at the plant level, 
just you can take it okay a single line uh, thing will going to come within this plant this many worth of product is lying and this is the quantity of the product okay so that is what the uh, things will be showing here so this is what it is all about the a uh, stock analysis how one can able to analyze the stock okay in one particular plant how much stock is there uh, and all if you want to know you can just use these transactions i can you can proceed further thanks for watching my video